In this example, we're going to talk about conditional formatting and how conditional formatting can help you change the colors or the formatting of different cells based on a condition. So I have my spring cleaning to-do list in front of me. I've got due dates and my task and whether I completed it or not. And I want to know all of the tasks that are less than today's date. That means I have not completed them and I want to color them red for overdue. So utilizing conditional formatting, we're going to click on the conditional formatting drop down box, go down to manage rules, and click the new rule button. Now I'm going to use a formula to determine the due date. So I'm going to select use a formula to determine the due date. Now the formula is going to start with an equal sign as we know all formulas begin with an equal sign. Then I want to look at the absolute value of the B column number 5. B5 is my first due date that I have selected. Now if B5 is less than today's date, and there's a function called today, then I want to color that cell red. So there's my formula and my format is going to be to color my fill red. So when I click OK and I click OK again to lock that formatting down, you'll notice that it turned red. Now because it is conditional formatting and I want to select the rest of these, I can go to my format painter and I can paint the same cells and you'll notice a couple of things. Now you'll notice that even though I have a yes for completed, it's still coloring it red because it's overdue. Well, we all know that if I completed it, it can't be overdue. So I need to make an adjustment to my conditional formatting formula. So I'm going to click on the conditional formatting, go back to manage rules, and I'm going to edit my current rule. Now, although I've got the B5 less than today, I also want to make sure that D5 does not have a Y in it for completed. So if I want to test both the due date and the completed box, I need to use an AND statement. So I'm going to type in an AND statement in front of my particular formula. Now I have B5 less than today. And my second thing I want to look at in this formula, comma, is the D5 being a yes. So if D5 does not include, quote, capital Y, quote, and my bracket, those are the two conditions I'm looking at. If B5 is less than today, D5 doesn't equal a yes, then we want to color that red. So I'm going to click OK, click OK again, and now you'll notice that that is no longer red because of the yes. So I'm going to format my painter, and I'm going to paint the rest of my and you'll notice that the two down here that also had yeses did not get highlighted with red. Now there's one other little thing that I noticed is kind of wrong with my conditional formatting and that's this blank row. I don't have anything in there. I don't have a date, I don't have a task, and I don't have any completed by. And because there's no date in there, it considers it less than today. So if I want to fix that, I need to make yet one more adjustment to my particular conditional formatting formula. So I'm going to go back to my conditional formatting, go back to conditional formatting and manage my rules, and I want to edit the rule yet one more time. I'm going to put it in with my AND statement, and all I want to do is make sure that B5 is not a blank. So I'm going to type in $B5 not equal to quote quote is considered a blank so now my formula reads and b5 not a blank and if b5 is not less than today and d5 is not a yes then go ahead and make it red so now when i click ok and ok again and then use my format painter you'll notice now that that blank row is not red so there we go. We've used conditional formatting to make sure our spring cleaning list 
is all up to date and not overdue.